Bryce, you've gotten to go up against him in practice for the last couple of weeks, but just seeing Max be able to take over the game, were you surprised by how he was able to keep his confidence and composure? Um, not at all, because if, when we were practicing and stuff, whenever we're going ones with the twos, like, it's no drop off between Connor and Max. Like, the leadership is still there, the execution is still there. So, like, it's never a drop off. So, that's definitely what we expected. And then from your perspective, you guys had seven sacks and 14 tackles for losses. What was going right today for you, especially working upfield to get in the backfield? Oh, uh, man, just executing. Coach Dirk and Dollar uh, blisses up. No one want to get pressure on those guys. No we want to uh, force them to the boundary to where it was going to be hard for them and stuff like that. So, yeah, that was really the key. We'll go back behind the lights to TV Row. Start on the far right side. The defense, obviously, big time performance from you guys. What was clicking and what does a performance like this do for the rest of SEC play? Oh, man, we have a crazy defensive line. And we understand that the depth they have, the guys they come in rolling in, that's making everything better in coverage. The, the quarterback can't see down the field because he got zero in his face, five in his face, three in his face. His eyes are on the rush. So I feel like that's a big play in our defense. And then York played great. Coop played great. We played real good in the back end. So today was a collective effort. We'll stay back behind the lights. Go one spot to the left to Ben. Seemed like a couple times you guys, uh, you know, yourself at times, whether it was linebackers, you know, kind of that second wave of the pass rush, maybe not even like a design blitz from the get go, but uh, when y'all sensed they were under pressure, y'all kind of came in and helped finish the job. What was was that something that y'all were? kind of emphasizing how do you feel like y'all were able to do that so well? <clears throat> we knew coming into the game, like I said, we wanted to force the quarterback to the boundary, make the make his eyes go to the rush. Um, with me, basically, we knew we wanted to get me involved, coming in on the rush, making his eyes look at me and go to the boundary, like I'm saying. But that was pretty much the key to the game, make his eyes drop and not be able to look at the receivers downfield. We'll stay back behind the lights. One more to Daryl. Bryce, I'd like to ask you two questions. First, just kind of what this does for this team's confidence as you guys get ready to take on Arkansas, having won your SEC opener, because that's a big one. Mm -hmm. um, confidence is through the roof, but we still know that Auburn is not the main goal. The main goal is to go run through the SEC and win national championship. So we're, that's, just a step, that's just a step along the way. And then my uh, last question would be, um, just for you guys, what changed from the Miami game in two weeks to this defense to look like it did today? Oh, man, just our effort. Effort getting everybody running to the ball, playing with a lot of energy, feeding off of each other, not being dead on the sidelines. All of that stuff goes into how we play on defense. Do we have any more questions for Bryce? We'll go front row on the left side to Mark. Bryce, on that pass that you tipped that Thorn then tipped. Have you ever seen a play as screwy as that in your life? No, I've never seen nothing like that. I wanted to pick though. <laughs> what do you think when uh, you know that everybody starts looking for the ball and then nobody moves? I say? actually at the time didn't know it was a backwards pass. I thought it was, I just deflected the pass. It's going to be an incompletion. And I seen a review saying it was thrown behind the line. It's like at the time I had no clue that it was behind the line of scrimmage or a backwards pass. We'll go one more front row to Cole to wrap us up. Bryce, by chance, did you see Jamal on the field right before the uh, fumble return for the touchdown? I didn't see him. I said, did you, did you think he was going to get run over? No, nah, I didn't see him. I didn't see him. I was too busy celebrating. All right, I think that's all we have. Thank you, Bryce. Oh, good. Thank you all.